And he hits his first shot of the game. Reeves on the if they can get there with a win tonight. Mike Conley an air ball, but there's McDaniels cleaning it up inside. And the Timberwolves have really struggled from the three-point line over the last few ball games, and in the absence of Carl Anthony Towns and now Rudy Gobert, scoring from the perimeter is going to be critical. A steal by Edwards, and he stops and lays it in as Davis flies by. And that is an area when you go small, you have a little bit more versatility, can get out in passing lanes, create some offense from defense. Edwards, 12th in the NBA in scoring at 26 points per game. Nice pass by Anthony Davis, and Hachimura drills a corner three. There's not going to be any answer on the interior defensively, so forced to be in rotation, terrific ball movement. Nas Reed is really good from behind the arc, right on cue, 42% from three. He's made 125 now on the year. Here's Davis. Fires to Russell. His first shot of the game is good. Spectacular fourth quarter on Friday night. Had nine threes in that game, also had nine assists in the win over the Bucks. Minnesota's the number one defensive team in the NBA, but obviously a big part of that is Rudy Gobert, who's out as uh, the floater is good from Alexander Walker. And this is a tough game to miss Rudy go four of the seven shots for Minnesota have been three-point attempts Achimura got positioned deep and throws it down. There's not gonna be an answer for that in transition getting cross-matched The size of the LA Lakers are gonna be a problem Davis with the slam it's Russell with the pass that's five assists already So all of the baskets for the Lakers have been assisted McDaniels driving. That's uh, a tough shot with a great shot blocker trying to swat it. McDaniels banking it home. Second basket for the four year pro out of Washington. It was drafted by the Lakers, but traded on draft night for the Wolves. Boy, Hachimura wide open, but he couldn't drill it. It's Hachimura in stride, but he missed the layup. A foul, though, on issued by the NBA today for making the money sign to an official. It was a costly technical foul late in the game, and then he also had some comments afterwards about the officiating, so that cost him six figures. Tie game 13 apiece, five minutes in. We got McDaniels guarding James. Here's Russell, three-pointer, it's good. D'Angelo Russell picking up where he left off on Friday night. He's two for two. Lakers run a little bit of that Spain back screen action in the middle of the floor. When you put those three in screening action on or off ball, good things happen. James defending Reed. Running hook is good from Nas Reed, former undrafted player out of LSU that's become a very valuable NBA player James cuts missed the shot his first attempt of the game and Minnesota looking to run again McDaniels out to Conley Edwards almost climbed over Anthony Davis he missed the dunk but my goodness on the way down he tried to throw it down as James gets his first point of the game Edwards is really upset thought he was fouled boy I thought he got up on the block the other night he may have been higher on the missed dunk right there. Edwards jumper. Oh, nice job by Alexander Walker to cut and tip it in. And now a technical foul. I think Anthony Edwards just got teed up. He's been having a conversation with Brett Nansel. And so a tee on Edwards. Still mad about. Well, Anthony Edwards was already at the top of every scouting report. Now he's going to see multiple white jerseys every possession. Hachimura, his seventh shot attempt. He's taken half of the Lakers' shots already. He's made three and two from behind the arc, and he's got ten points. Was only one for six against Milwaukee on Friday, but shot every single one of them with confidence. And the one that he made was huge because yes. they were down six against Milwaukee as Reed answers with a three. But that Hachimura three kept the Lakers alive. And Reed Hachimura game. talking to us before the game. He Underneath to Davis. Davis up and in. So five points, four assists already for Davis. Averages about 25 per game. 
LeBron James, the leading scorer in the Lakers, over 25 and 15th in the league. Jordan McLaughlin, who was at the USC game last night. LeBron James was there, too, watching his son, Bronny. McLaughlin played at USC, and he hits a three. So the Wolves have been... On fire to start the game, 10 of 15 from the floor. And how about you? You're, you're a seasoned vet, and you get a call. Bronny James's game last night and LeBron James' game tonight. H how was that? I think it's a first doing the son one night and the father the next as Davis slams it. So AD, three for three from the floor. They have 10 baskets and 10 assists. Just one turnover by the Lakers. Edwards. McLaughlin couldn't handle the pass. Reed driving. And Davis takes it away. James ahead to Reeves. Ran into James. He tried to go baseline and coughed it up. Minnesota ball. Alexander Walker down the lane. Edwards and gets the layup. I think everybody was holding their breath, hoping he would just soar again and explode like he did. Six games out of first, so at this point, a four-team race and maybe just three with about 16 games left for the contenders. Now, both teams shooting 65% from the floor. Great offense to start the game. T.J. Warren on the floor, playing just his third game with the Wolves. He was just signed a few days ago. Also, Luca Garza is out there, and he drills a three, the fourth for Minnesota. Garza's not played a ton of games this year, but with all the injuries, they need him tonight. Prince penetrates, hangs, and finishes off the window. He's number two all time in wins behind uh, the great Flip Saunders as James banks it in. They've been to the playoffs the last two years. They had gone... 14 years from 04 to 08 where they did not make the postseason but can they take the next step and go deep in the playoffs as they battle for the one seed in the West McDaniels banks it in Nas Reed with a three and then basket by McDaniels after an 0 for 7 finishes to the first quarter Hayes with the throw down off the dish from Russell And this is what's interesting about Minnesota's offense in the absence of Rudy Gobert on the floor, using him a lot in the two-man game. Now it's a lot of spread, isolation, drive, kick, reverse the basketball. Got to consistently knock down shots, but that's a terrific take. Got to finish. Garza fouled on the put. Now in March 26, when they head out on the road for a six-game trip starting in Milwaukee. And they're in ninth in the West, so they need to win these home games. McDaniels banks at home. He's got eight. Ties the game. Jaden McDaniels, a capable scorer. He's a guy who could be a little bit more aggressive to the rim. And Jackson Hayes, a tough finish with the hand one. Only a 60% foul shooter on the year. Here's Conley, who's yet to score in this game. He'll try a three and hit it. Mike Conley, who's averaging a career high in three-point shooting and is 10th in the league at 43%. But he's been struggling as of late. That had to feel 50%. From three. The older he gets, the deeper in the season he gets, the better he gets. Well, it's really incredible what LeBron James has been able to do. I mean, the, the amount of consistency, leading a team, putting a team on his back. The attack. And the Lakers get the board and get it out quickly. Here's Christie. Reverse layup is good. James with the fine. So good in transition. Nearly 15% of their points come from transition. A rebounding is going to be a problem for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They don't have a lot of size on the interior. When you know you've got those challenges, you got to get back in transition defense. Warren comes back, knocks down the jumper. Well, Minnesota shooting better than 50% for the floor, but the Lakers are at 67%. Russell downhill lays it in. But D'Angelo Russell, Garvinham told us, even with LeBron back, we want him to stay aggressive. And he's certainly done that so far tonight. With LeBron James back on the floor, he's not going to have...
the ball in his hands as much as he does when he's off the floor, but he can still maintain an aggressive mentality as Nas Reed knocks down another three. And four or five from three for Reed. 14 points in the first half. He had a career high seven against Cleveland, and Nas Reed, one of those guys that. Shooting. Three goes for Alexander Walker. That's the eighth three for the Timberwolves. Sometimes when you have the absence of multiple players, it gives other guys opportunities to step up. We've seen it with Nas Reed, and he's been able to step up to the challenge. Now these wings for the Minnesota Timberwolves have opportunities, but Austin Reeves has the answer. That's Reeves' first shot attempt since the first shot of the game. He made that one, and he knocks down this one. Lakers back up two. Edwards comes back. No good on the shot. Loose ball. And Christie has it batted back and into the hands of Edwards. McDaniels, good defensive play. Edwards cans that long two. Already in this first half, we've had eight lead changes and ten ties. We're even. Reeves dribble that entire possession and buries the three against Reed. So Reeves starting to heat up. He's knocked down two in a row. Edwards. Boy, how about putting on the brakes and then barking at the Laker bench after he knocks down the shot. Timberwolves like to run a lot of that horns action and you got Mike Connolly and Anthony Edwards playing in the two man gives you some different looks. Hachimura and another three. That's three in a row for the Lakers from deep. 22 years old, number one pick in 2020. Played for Tom Crean for a year at Georgia. An all star each of the last two years. And McLaughlin set his feet but couldn't knock down the three. Hachimura with the rebound. Reeves going behind the back, spinning away from McLaughlin. The crowd loves it. Reeves.